The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. Pastor Benny Hinn is urgently preaching the gospel to the lost because the world's only hope is salvation through God's only Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God is life eternal. This is your day to join Benny Hinn in proclaiming Jesus as Savior and Healer. Can you hear the sound of heaven? Like the sound of many waters. It's the sound of worship coming from the throne. There are cries of adoration as men from every nation lift the voice and make his glory known. Pastor Benny Hinn's recent trip to South Africa was marked by overflow crowds, soul stirring worship life-changing teaching from the Word of God, and faith-building testimonies of physical healing. For two weeks, the people of Johannesburg, Cape Town, Durban, and East London packed arenas and churches, and the results of these meetings significantly impacted the nation. Pastor Benny is passionate about sharing the good news of the saving and healing gospel of Jesus Christ. And it is the consistent support of friends and partners of the ministry that enables him to travel to places like South Africa and in every service preach the uncompromised message which presents those in attendance with an opportunity to change their eternal futures. Life is very short. Don't play games with your eternity. Religion cannot save you. Only Jesus, the Son of God, will save your soul. The Bible says clearly, with, without Jesus, there is no heaven. And today, in this world of ours, a lot of people like Oprah Winfrey and others are saying that Jesus is one of the ways to heaven. There's only one way to heaven, and his name is Jesus. His name is what? Jesus. And I don't care what Oprah Winfrey thinks. Whether she likes me or not makes no difference whatsoever to me. She means nothing to me. Jesus means everything to me. So I'm here to tell the whole church, Muhammad is not the way to heaven. Buddha is not the way to heaven. No Hindu God is the way to heaven. The only way to heaven is Jesus, 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 Jesus. That's all. The Son of God. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And then he added, no man, no man, nobody will come to the Father but by me. That's what he said. So maybe you, you, you like watching these crazy programs on television and you may believe other things. Don't you dare believe what they say. You have to believe what this says. Only the Word of God is truth. Only the Bible is truth. And people ask me, well, how do you know that the Bible is truth? I say one answer. The, the, the proof that this is the Word of God is fulfilled prophecy. That's the proof. Fulfilled prophecy is the proof that this is the word of God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we as Christians know by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, that Jesus is alive. That inner witness tells us. His voice is so powerful, it penetrates our being. And we know it so deeply. If you took a gun and stuck it to my head and said, deny Jesus or die, I would say, shoot, pull the trigger. Because life without Jesus has no meaning whatsoever. That 
is salvation. So if you don't have that assurance, tonight is the night. Don't, don't play games with your soul. Think about your soul for a minute. This body one day will die. On resurrection morning, God will give us a brand new body. But the real you, the spirit of man, lives forever. Forever. The question is where are you going when you die? Where? Will you be with the master in heaven and experience love and peace and joy and glory? Or will you be tormented in hell with the wicked? Will you be tormented in a lake of fire and there's no way out? No way out. There is a hell and it's very real. There is a lake of fire created for Satan and his angels. It, it, it was not cre created for you. But those who reject Jesus, that's exactly where they're going. The Bible says that clearly. And don't play games to find out if it's, if it's there or not. Because it's there, guaranteed. Because the Bible says it's there. The Bible says it's there. So, secure your eternity. Guarantee your eternity. Your life eternal depends on your decision tonight. So those of you that want to make sure that you really belong to Him, remember what I said earlier, face to face, a revelation by the Spirit. You have to confess Him and confess Him publicly. Publicly means you have to come forward and say yes. And Jesus will reveal Himself to you at this altar. He'll do it because He promised to do it. He said, come unto me, all you who labor, I will give you rest. He'll do it now. So every person that wants to receive Jesus right now, give your heart that peace. Make peace with God. Put your hands up high right now if you want that. All right. Those with hands uplifted, just stand up and start walking down here. And I want to see you right here in front of me. Come on. Let's give them a big God bless you. To thee whose blood can cleanse its part Now, dear Jesus, I need you because I love you. I am a sinner. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. Make me clean and I will be clean. Oh, dear Jesus. Come into my heart. Live your life in me. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you my body as a living sacrifice. Right now, I surrender all of me completely. So right now, I confess Jesus Christ is my Redeemer, my Savior forever. God Almighty is my Heavenly Father, Jesus my Savior, 
the Holy Spirit my comforter and I confess before heaven before the visible and the invisible I belong to Jesus and I am born again Amen. And I command every demon spirit of sickness, and I command every spirit of death in the name of Jesus, whom I serve and whose I am, I command you now in Jesus' name, leave that body. For he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, chastised for our peace, and with his stripes we are healed. Later in this service in Johannesburg, South Africa, Jesus' healing touch was felt by men, women, and children throughout the arena, and many came to the platform to testify of a change in their physical bodies. I had a fractured ankle in 2006 and surgery after that. Fractured? You were supposed to go for surgery? Twice for surgery. Oh, you've been twice? And, and did, it, did it help you? Okay, you had lim lim limited movement even after that. Let me see how, how good the Lord did tonight. Come on, honey, just yeah, jump up and down. Jump everywhere we go. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Help her down. James. This man fell off a roof, injured his back three years ago. What was he doing on the roof? Repairing it. Repairing it. Fell and off what happened, roof. Jim? He injured his back, had an operation a while ago on two different discs. He's had constant pain ever since then. Today, in the service, as we're worshiping, the pain is gone, the stiffness is gone. He's got freedom of motion again. It's anointing here. Come here, sir. And and it was your back and what else? Fine, absolutely. I can move it, turn it. I can touch my toes this evening. Okay, let me see you touch your toes. No pain. To God be the praise. Give the Lord a mighty, mighty hand of praise. Then. As it happens in so many of Pastor Benny's services, the power of the Holy Spirit hit the platform like a mighty rushing wind, which blew across the audience and was felt by everyone in attendance. There is, there is a very heavy anointing falling right now. There is a very heavy anointing falling. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back! Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art well come in this place. Holy Spirit, hey guys, get up here, come on. Well, up, quick, 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 come on, quick. Pick it up!
Restore us, oh, oh Father. Revive us. What, what, what happened? Arthritis in the right bring hip. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Terrible pain. She came in tonight with pain. She's healed. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Alba, mola, hey, Alba, come to me. Lift your hands and praise him. She got a problem on her leg and she could not walk. And God is healed her tonight. Pick it up, pick it up. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Father, have mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. For in thy presence, there's healing divine. Scoliosis in the back. Arthritis in the back. The power, Heal. the power of God. The power of God is so strong on these people here. So strong. Fill all the hungry and thirsty within. Come here, guys. Come here. Restore us, oh Father. Revive us again. from South Africa were made possible by Pastor Benny Hinn's partners around the world who support him in sharing the gospel through miracle services, television, and missions outreaches. Become a partner today and experience the benefits you'll receive for your commitment of $35 each month. And when you sign up, choose the new Partner Express option. Your monthly gift will be automatically and conveniently made. And Pastor Benny will thank you with a free copy of the Dake Bible, one of the most complete study resources ever created. Go online or call today and make a difference for the kingdom of God. Our precious Jesus said to us, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's his blessed promise. He promised it. I will give you rest is his precious promise. And all you and I have to do is simply come. Just so simple. Come and be close. Come and, and fellowship with him. Come and just wait in his precious presence. And rest will come and tranquility and peace of mind and peace in your heart and soul. You will know peace that will pass all understanding and you'll know his love. Remember what Paul said about this. He said, I'm persuaded that neither death or life or angels or principalities or powers or things present or things to come or height or depth or any other creature will be able to separate you and I from the love of God, which is found in Christ Jesus. Jesus is the, is the, the answer 
to your need. He's the one who's crying out, God loves you. So today come to him. God will give you a miracle. And let's pray, let's believe the Lord. You, you just saw his power from Johannesburg, South Africa, where I was just days ago. Suzanne and I had an amazing time in Africa. The power of God flowed in every service in Joburg, in Durban, in Cape Town, in East London. It was awesome. And I want to say thank you for helping us go around the world now as a married couple. But let's believe for you now. I want to believe God for you. Let's believe. Why, why don't you stretch your hands towards me as I'm stretching my hands towards you? In faith, we're just coming into agreement. Yes, you may want to come put your hands on the screen. Feel free to do it. All that that is is just agreement in prayer. Dear Jesus, we come in faith. You said, come unto me. I will give you rest. Bring rest, tranquility, joy, and peace that passeth all understanding. And we rebuke this sickness. We rebuke this bondage, the confusion, the darkness must go now in Jesus' name. I give you praise for your mercy, Lord. Just wrap that one with your love. Place your arms of love around them today. Let them know all is well in Jesus' precious name. Someone's back has just been healed. You were injured in a, in a car accident. Cherie, there's a Cherie watching me was injured in a car accident and you've injured your lower back the lord has just healed you totally you f you feel his precious presence and power don't don't leave me now don't turn off the your tv because the power of god is flowing god wants to to heal you too whoever you are watching this program there's a man named jerry you you have swelling on your jaw the right side the lord just healing it right now there's a heart condition, an Albert watching with a heart problem. The Lord's healing you. I see someone with an infected right eye. Dear Jesus, I rebuke that infection in the name of Jesus. I give you praise. There's a lady, you just found out that you have cancer. In fact, it's a brain tumor. Precious Jesus, heal her today, I pray. Lord, let the doctor's report be changed and only you can change it you can change any situation we give you praise lord you can cancel that report i give you praise wonderful lord there's a lady with a, a skin condition you itch a lot and i'm not sure really what causes it but the lord is healing you to receive that healing in jesus name the greatest miracle is salvation if you do not know the Lord, whoever you, you, you are watching right now, and you want to receive him because the greatest miracle is salvation, just say, dear Jesus, I give you my life. I give you my heart. I trust you with my eternity. I give you my soul. I give you my body. Take my life. Take my all. Come into my heart. Wash me with your blood now. Save my soul. I receive you as my Savior today. Love you, Lord. Amen. If you prayed with me, I have a little book to send you called The Greatest Miracle that will help you live the Christian life. The work of God is so precious. Just been to Africa and I'm on my way, in, in fact, to Trinidad in a few days. I'm, I'll, I'll be at the uh, Crawford National Stadium in Trinidad. The Lord just opening the doors for us again in an amazing way. And the gospel must be preached. I'm asking you today as my friend and partner to help me go to the nations of the world because see, when you bring the gospel back into your giving, God will honor you, God will bless you. I'm asking many of you to become partners with us. Suzanne and I are so committed to taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world and the Lord has done a miracle for us now with our marriage. We are married now. And in Africa, thousands, not hundreds, thousands of people were touched. We, many of them came down, service after service, whose marriages 
are in trouble and we prayed with them people were crying everywhere so God is now doing more than just healing physical bodies and lives he's healing marriages because of what he's done for us he's doing for others so help me take this gospel help Suzanne and I take the gospel around the world now remember what Jesus said give it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over will men give to your bosom invest in the gospel of Jesus Christ today and and the Bible says clearly God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you'll have all sufficiency in all things so when you give to the work of God literally heaven will open and God will pour upon your life blessings untold that you cannot contain do it today sow your seed for the for the gospel and I want to send you this powerful teaching seven biblical powerful keys to total restoration in your life and recovery this is a teaching based on the Word of God that shows you seven powerful keys what to do in restoring in bringing a restoration recovery and I've gone through it believe me it works this is free it's on CD you can listen to it in the car for you that have never called our ministry never written us a letter I want to send this to you call today the number is on the screen or go online benihin.org for you who are partners you can download this on our website a digital download free for you as partners do it today also two brand new books I have written that will absolutely bless your life two in one I put two books in this first releasing the anointing for prosperity I believe there is an anointing for prosperity called favor and this will show you how it's released on your life and the second book in there is turning your dreams into reality powerful books two books in one for a gift of $35 to them to the ministry to help me take the gospel around the world and think about this you sow seed people are blessed saved and healed and God rewards you with a financial harvest do it today again post office box 16 2000 Irving Texas or online or simply call the number on the screen and remember nothing is impossible with God and all of you by the way in Louisville Kentucky I'm coming to Evangel World Prayer Center April 17 and 18 and then Washington DC the National Church of God April 19 and 20 and then in in uh, at the end of uh, of May I'm going to be in New York City at Dix Hills New York and the info is on the screen plus I'll be all over Europe the gospel is being preached and again you in Trinidad I'm coming to the National Stadium that's April 13 and 14 Saturday and Sunday at the National Stadium in Port of Spain in Trinidad thank you for your love and kindness and remember your miracle is on the way because Jesus promised it bye-bye